Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ms. Roxanne's Daily Rambles. Today we are doing season uh, four of Arrow, and we're doing episode one called Green Arrow. So we start off with a running montage. Alfred's run through a forest, or he's run through greenery, and he runs into the suburbs where he lives now, and is the epitome of illicity. And, um, like, she's literally cooking dinner on the countertop, and he goes, Felicity Smoke, you have failed this omelet. <laughs> so, um, it's kind of a funny moment, and it's, like, they're very lovey-dovey and stuff. And he also got uh, Shadow's uh, tattoo removed, and he goes, like, I just don't need it anymore. So then we cut to um, Team Arrow and Star City, and they um, and Fear Queen is having fun at Speedy. She's having a blast, and Diggle gets an upgrade. He gets finally gets a helmet, and then um, the bad guy, the the bad people get away, and then um, Laura wants to out, ask Oliver for help, and. Diggle's like, I don't think so. No, we're fine. We can handle it on our own. And then we find out that the mayor is comprised of a team and that these people that are stealing stuff, they're basically ghosts that keep disappearing for some reason. And they just disappear just like that, like a ghost. And it turns out Damien Dark is um, has his intro and he controls the ghost and basically kills like some... He, Basically, he doesn't kill. He confronts the team on the mayor side of stuff. And then we cut to where Oliver and Felicity are. And it's crunch time with the neighbors. And Felicity, is, she doesn't like the neighbors. <laughs> she really doesn't. But um, when she goes in for her to get more mimosas, they, they go say, oh. Where's the ring? Let's, let's see it. And so um, Oliver has the ring and he wants to pop the question. And then, but then we go to a flashback scene where um, Oliver is doing a shitty job as being a vigilante and water, uh, Waller got to him. Then we go back to the present day where uh, the DA got poisoned and Dark is targeting the group. Um, Quint Lance got shot at. And then Oliver as a special dinner and uh, he puts a ring in the souffle and but um someone's at the door it's a what's it goes to the door and it's Laurel and Thea and they kinda uh dinner crash. So he had to put everything on hold and they asked for help and so they decided to go and help and then we go to the flashback scene for a waller and all for a drink together and she drugs him because she wants him to do something. They went to the present day where Diggle is still mad and turns out the ghost stole cluster bombs and Oliver isn't the boss anymore because he's trying to say like you go here, you go here, you go there. And they're like, uh, you're not the boss anymore. <laughs> and so um, he's trying to adjust that and so basically they go through the city and the city basically went to crap. Like literal crap. It's like, ew. Um, but then you have um, when Diggle talks to Lila. Lila forgives Oliver for what he did, but Diggle just can't seem to get um, behind, um, past that. And then we find out Felicity's been helping the team behind his back the entire time. <laughs> so like the first like month or two, like she was truly with Oliver. But then when she had to go to come off to the bathroom or do this or do that, she was really helping out Team Era. So that's how she kind of knows what's up, what's what's happening. And then we cut to where they overhear Dark's convo, and where they're talking to the ghosts and how one of the ghosts, ghosts escaped, um, but they, because uh, they took his um, cyanide tape out before they he could take it, and so Dark does some voodoo stuff, and then that's when Team Era goes in. And then Thea goes cry a little bit. She gets a little too overzealous and starts punching this guy really, really hard. 
So now the mystical element is in play in the season. So uh, that's the more, that's kind of like the central theme of the season so far. And then Oliver and Thea talk, um, fighting style on how to disarm, but not to break someone's leg. And they kind of just um, brush it off. And then uh, Lance goes off on Oliver. When Oliver visits him at the police station. Or when Oliver visits Lance. Yeah. And then um, basically says, like, I wish you were dead or you need to go back to your freaking city and go away. Bye. <laughs> and then we go to a flashback scene where um, Oliver wakes up and he's on a cargo plane. And Oliver has to do a mission. And it's going back to Lee and you. And he gets literally kicked out of the plane. And um, then we go to the present day where Oliver got a new suit. And then um, they evacuate the station. And then Arrow jumps on the train because that's the target. And then tar uh, then um, when Oliver gets on the train, Dark is there and says Dark versus um, the Green Arrow. That's efficient what he's calling himself. Um, so he stops the arrow from getting him and kind of directs it back, but Oliver dodges it. Then Dark almost kills him. Then Diggle helps out. And then they blow up the train. It turns out Dark runs Hive. And then Oliver uh, calls himself the Green Arrow. He does like a huge uh, television broadcast and like um, interrupts everyone's signal, like cell phones, TVs, everything. And he makes it seem that he's the Green Arrow and he fights for justice and he gives like a whole speech about that. Then we have a flashback where Oliver gets captured. And then we cut to the present day where Dark's voodoo is happening. He does a little voodoo work. And it turns out Lance is working with Dark only because he threatened Laurel. That's the only reason why he's even helping. And then Oliver puts the ring in a bowl as they move into Thea's apartment, which she hasn't yet been living there because Roz killed her over there. And yeah, <laughs> so Thea doesn't want to be there anyway. And then we have a then we have a flash forward scene of someone dies and buries at the grave with him. And he goes like, "I know it's not my fault, but that bastard is going to pay." And that's the end of the episode. And then in this notebook, we finish this notebook. It's like 70 pages. Give or take about five. Because I actually used this back in the day for school, which is forever ago. Anyway, such a good episode. I'll give this an A. Plus. It was really good. And I like um, a flash war scene. We, it's the first time we've ever seen that. So it's kind of crazy. So, um,. I like everything about this episode. They're introducing the new uh, character. And I kind of freaked out a little bit because Dana Dark is spelled by, um, it's by Neil, I want to say. I cannot remember his name. But anyway, he did. Um, he was in Captain America's The First Avenger movie as um, one of the characters in there, which I um, don't want to get that wrong either. So anyway, I'm super excited because he's a very good actor. And he was also on Desperate Housewives, which... My cousin watched that show, so I kind of watched it a little bit. <laughs> so anyway, um, that's going to do for this video. So if you like this video, please feel to like, comment down below what you think of the episode, and subscribe for more stuff, because I'll be turning out so many videos soon. It's going to be ridiculous. And some videos might get lost in a shuffle, but hey, that's just how it goes sometimes. So anyway, I'm just gearing up so everything is up and current by October. <laughs> So anyway, um, I want y'all to have a super duper awesome day, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, everybody.